Welcome to the video. Renovation, gym build. Gym build turned renovation. We call it Mikey HGTV. But it's not home or a garden. If this is the sexiest mullet on the planet, be sure to give this thing a thumbs up and subscribe. If within your name, there may be a vowel, give this thing a thumbs up. If you enjoy vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, Rocky Road, cookies and cream, or cookie dough ice cream, give this thing a thumbs up. If you enjoy sushi, steak, Mexican food, Italian food, give this thing a thumbs up. Welcome to the video. So we're still grinding the floors. I don't know if we're grinding the floors in the last one or just prepping, um, but 6,000 square foot, over 6,000 square foot of grinding floors takes longer than I thought and is much more difficult than I thought and is much less fun than it looks. It gives me a little bit more appreciation for the contractors of the world. Although I've done a lot of like handiwork in my life, uh, we've talked about the school I went to and my dad was fairly handy and you know my dad wasn't a mechanic or anything, but we did projects and we built stuff. Um, it's much different when you're working on a commercial scale. To change one room, to change, you know, paint one room, to fix one ground or a little part of a driveway even, a two-car driveway, two-car garage, is much different than 6,000 square foot. <clears throat> Over 6,000. Probably 6'5", I would say, is our total ground coverage here. Not including the back area, which I don't even know if we showed you guys in a tour, but there's a big back area where you can work out and hang and we'll have a little chill station. For sure, the uh, most frustrating part is grinding that I've ever done in anything. Um, the grinder's 10 inches long, do the math. 10 inches by six, five, takes a very long time to do. Um, so it's wearing on your boy a little bit. It's wearing on your boy. Forearms are hurting, back's hurting. I just say McDonald's, don't do that. My tummy hurts a lot. My tummy really hurts. Don't eat McDonald's. Unless they want to sponsor me. Then eat all the McDonald's in the world. Chicken nuggies for everyone. Some of you asked, like, hey, can we dig into the financials? Um, and we can. We can. We can be transparent as, as we can. So um, typically when you rent a, a, a square, f a commercial sp space, um, it's by dollar per square foot. Um, that'll depend on how nice the building is, location, and obviously your overall city. Um, this is, it is a hardcore style gym. So there's no AC. Uh, there's no, we actually have really nice bathrooms that we're going to uh, freshen up. They're nice, but we're going to freshen them up for you. So that'll give it a good vibe. And we're going to elevate it again, what, what that all means. Uh, we're going to have it looking nice and feeling nice. It's not going to, you know, be unusable and look bad and smell bad and be dirty and whatever. But at the end of the day, it is a warehouse. So um, square foot per dollar is probably a little bit cheaper um, than if we were to do a full AC insulated building with gas and heat and all that, right? So we do have running water and all that. We just don't have any gas appliances and we don't have any, <clears throat> we don't have a kitchen. That's another thing that would come into play. Um, and, and depending on where you live, again, that, that could go anywhere from probably a dollar a square foot up to, who knows, five, six, seven, if you're trying to do something in San Francisco, Manhattan, uh, on a prime real estate. Um, just to give you an idea, you know, these restaurants, um, let alone a gym or an office space or whatever, costs a lot of money. Uh, typically you sign a lease just like you would with an apartment or something like that except um, most likely it's going to be longer. Uh, you're not just going to do month to month or a year like you would perhaps an apartment or a house. Um, typically you're looking at three, five, ten years depending on your business, your financials, uh, and who you're working with. So um, we went with a five year. Uh, we plan to make a, a gym, a home, a community for a very long time and five years uh, is still even just the beginning for us. So that commitment's kind of whatever. Um, Typically also when you buy you, or you lease, uh, just like residential, but probably a little bit more so in the commercial space, you can no negotiate uh, the price, obviously. You can also negotiate um, a couple free months rent, because as you know, COVID's going on. Uh, you can negotiate your down payments, your deposits, the electrical, there's something called triple net. Triple net, so sometimes you're in charge of all your utilities, sometimes you're not, it's included in the rent, sometimes there's something called triple net, which basically, uh, to dumb it down, which, because I don't even understand the details of it, but you just basically pay for um, everything being used. So whether that's security, uh, uh, lawn, uh, landscape, uh, plus electrical, plus or whatever. So that's all kind of included. You'll throw down a good chunk of money, which is like everything else, uh, you know, whether it be a deposit plus first and last months. So threw down quite a few grand there. Um, I don't even know the specifics. I'd give you the exact specifics if I could. I just wrote a fat check 
Jimbo wrote a check and we sent her in. And then from there, it's just all this little stuff that I didn't know cost as much. So um, we're probably 20, 30 in, uh, to be honest with you. Um, and that's no equipment. We got the dumbbells the other day. We got some Umax dumbbells, which are only a couple years old, but they're, so they're used. It's the only used equipment I wanna do. And the only reason I got them used is one, I saved thousands of dollars. Two, the guy I bought them from only trains athletes in a personal training studio. So he has like commercial grade, highest end dumbbells. Um, and that's why he's selling them too. He's like, yeah, it's overkill. All the way up to 100 when he works with like high school kids who probably aren't using the hundreds and they're just not getting the use. So commercial dumbbells are made to not only really feel better, look good, uh, but they last and you can drop them on the ground and shit. But he's dealing with one client at a time for a couple years. So these things literally look brand new. So we went with that. I was about six grand, just so you guys know if you're tallying here on the side. Um, renting the, the grinder, another couple grand. The paint, about a grand. Um, all the miscellaneous, I don't know. Like even just these, right? Because we're sucking one, because we're around other people. We've been wearing masks to stay COVID. Like Connor behind, if for all those that are wondering the COVID rules we're following. Connor lives with me. Kyle lives with me. And Jim's the only other person I've been seeing in a close proximity during the last four or five months. Um, anyone else that comes, we have masks for them or us. Uh, and because we're sucking down cement, so we're whipping through these a lot. But even this was like 30 bucks, right? So you have a couple of these, a couple of days, uh, you start to add up. Um, paint supplies, spray paint. Luckily, we have some homies. Shout out to Chris Lewis who gave us uh, uh, some equipment to borrow. Point is, probably two or three in from just random stuff that we've been buying. These vacuum freaking uh, uh, bags, 30 bucks. So there's some business sense of what it costs to maybe just even get started on a renovation project because we haven't even started on the gym stuff. Um, in my head, I think I'm really good. I'm not really good. In my head, I'm two personalities with a lot of things I do. I have this dichotomy about me. Dichotomy the right word. I go through phases where I'm insanely frugal and I'll count every penny and I won't spend any money and I won't do all these things. Um, and then counter to that, I can't like kind of count my money and still spend money. I get too anxious and stressed about it. So when we're doing like a project, I know shit just has to be done. I just can't penny count. Uh, luckily, Jim's a little bit better with numbers and Excel sheets and budgets than me, and that's kind of where we balance each other out. Uh, and Omar for my other business, Kaizen Training, Omar's really good at stuff like that. I'm not. Again, I have to kind of be one or the other. I have to not think. If I'm checking my receipts every day, I'm just not going to buy anything. And then we won't have paint to paint. Like, I'll just stress it out. Or I'll be stuck on Google for a week trying to find a dollar off on paint. Um, so when it comes to stuff like this, I just kind of have to go in and do what I have to do. And that's kind of the same with, like, the work. Like, um, if I don't just, like, show up and just grind all day long, I can't just, like, kind of grind the floor today. Well, yeah, we'll kind of grind the floor tomorrow. Like, we had to take some breaks because we had to go pick up the dumbbells, which were two hours away. We had an issue with the machine this morning, so we haven't ground today. It's uh, now about 11 o'clock. Um, we had to go change the blade and stuff, and so we had like repairs to do basically. Uh, plus, we need a mass to run out of mass, so we had some errands to run. But I can't like, or like how people like do puzzles. Now I'm just rambling. Welcome to my head, chat, boys, YouTube. Uh, people do like a puzzle and they'll like do it for 10 minutes, leave it on the table, and they'll do it next Sunday. They'll do it like 10. I can't do that. If I was to do a puzzle either I'm never going to do it or I'm going to do that whole thing at one sitting. Um, and so that might not be the most productive for my mental health, but it is the most productive for our project. So we were making good pace. I guess I also, because I've never done a renovation of this size, I don't know what pace is good and no one's really to say what pace is good because you can't calculate it. So um, putting in that big deposit was a big chunk of money. That was the last time I looked at the cents, uh, signing the contract for this thing. Um, and from there, I'm going to do what's best for the gym and what's best for the community and, and not with no regard for money, but do my best about it. So um, the reason we're calling it a mistake is probably just because we didn't know the amount of effort. The, our labor and energy has gone well beyond the dollars, um, which is fine because this thing is going to be when people come in here and you're like, oh, shit, yo, Third Street looks sick. Like 3SB looks dope. Like we literally built it. Um, and so I know it'll be worth it in the long run, but when you're dead middle of it, there's dust everywhere. The paint that I just freshly painted has scratches already. Like when you're in that, you're like, fuck man. Like I made a, I fucked up. Like I spent way too much money and we didn't do the good job. But again, because of the history of this building, because of my history with this building, Jim's history with the building, the powerlifting history of the building, plus the location in terms of Sacramento parking lot, and the general vibe of just the building, if you take away its history, the vibe of the building is 
something that I've never been into a gym wise. You have both gates open on both sides. We have four gates and it almost like, there's walls obviously, but it'll almost feel like you're outside. Like it's such a good vibe. And once music's in here, you know, three months from now when I can turn on my favorite song and hit a deadlift in here, uh, it will be worth it. But right now, uh, again, I don't want to call it a mistake, but it doesn't feel great. The money and man hours you're putting in. My back hurts. Mikey's struggling. But we got the boys, the team's here every day, uh, so I'm going to go grind now. Be sure to like this video. New video Monday, Thursday. Bunch of cool stuff happening. Full reno. Day 15. Probably next video will be transforming the ground. I hope. Who knows? Speed booms come. But I think next video will be transforming the ground. And then we'll really get an idea of like, okay, we're in the pocket. Okay, goodbye. Miss you. Take care of yourselves.